Welcome back to Modestly Mosky. I'm Mosky Line, and today we're going to do something a little bit different. <laughs> okay, so everybody keeps saying, Mosky Line, you're bilingual. Why don't you incorporate your Hebrew in this show and stuff? And I keep saying, okay, I'm going to do some, or I'm going to at least take some of the vegetables and say what they are in Hebrew. And as I get to filming, I just get to going and I'm like, oh, I didn't do it again. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, that's been three weeks. Maskila, stop, take a moment, and just take some of the vegetables and fruits sometimes, and I can do a whole nother segment about that. That way I'm not mixing for those who don't understand or for those who want to just learn. I'll make sure that you all have a whole nother segment you know, where you all can get to learn in some Hebrew, at least get to know I bought a few vegetables right here. We're going to talk a little bit about and tell you all a few uh, nutritional facts about the fruit or the vegetable, what it's good for, especially right now in this whole time right now with the COVID-19, this Corona time, you know, it's really good to make sure that you know what you're putting in your body and how it may be able to assist you. You know, there's so many things um, that we use, that we do as a community, you know, to help make sure we keep our immune systems boosted and everything. But I wanna make sure that I do get to incorporate a little bit of the Hebrew. And so I can at least tell you what some of these fruits or vegetables are in Hebrew, you know, and then tell you the English so you'll know. So, Today, we're going to start with our red pepper, which is pilpel adom. Okay, some call it gamba. Gamba, it can really cover the red, green, yellow, the bell peppers. Okay, pilpel adom are red bell peppers. Okay, so red bell peppers they're good for so many things. One of the things that most people don't believe when you tell them is that red bell peppers have way more vitamin C in it than lemons. Yes, they are full of vitamin C. They actually have 169% of the, the daily amount of vitamin C that you need. So they are extremely high in vitamin C and definitely should be something that you keep in your fridge or a part of your diet, especially if you're vegan. They are so good for you. I wrote a couple um, nutritional facts down also. They are, first of all, they are related to the nightshade family. They are full of vitamin C. They are full of vitamin K, vitamin B6, folate, which is the B9s, vitamin E, and vitamin A, okay? And they're good for your, your um, skin, your bones, and your eyes. Yeah. Red bell peppers, keep them in the fridge. Keep them on you. Add it to your diet. You can eat it live, raw, or you have them cooked. There's something that's extremely good to have. So we're going to go to our next thing, which is our carrot. Gezer. Carrot is gezer. Gezer. Okay. So carrots are good for so many things. First of all, it's full of um, better carotene. Better carotene, you know, it, it helps with the elasticity in your skin. I know, I remember when I um, <laughs> had my first baby, which is when I found out about the better carotene in carrots, and they said, you need that, especially if you're breastfeeding, you may need to make sure that you keep some better carotene, which you get in carrots. So I drank a lot of carrot juice and I would eat a lot of raw carrots and, you know, did everything that I could to make sure that I was keeping myself um, with enough, especially if you're a mother and you're breastfeeding your child. Also, 
when you look into you cut the carrots the carrot open you will actually see like the shape of the eye you see the iris you see you see the ring you see everything you could tell that carrots are good for the eyes yes carrots are extremely good for eyesight and bones and everything like that is very good let me see a few nutritional facts on extra facts on carrots like i said it's high in better carotene high in fiber high in vitamin k potassium and antioxidants so a lot of the fruits and vegetables when you look at them you can tell sometimes by the shape like if you take a kidney bean the kidney bean is actually shaped almost like your kidney that's why they call it a kidney bean or let's take walnuts for example a walnut is shaped like your brain so it has the this the left side the right side like your brain have the left and the right side and it looks just like the brain so they say when you eat walnuts it's good for your brain okay let's take another thing your tomato agvania tomato 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 everybody call it <laughs> differently i say tomato so you have your tomato so if you cut your tomato open if you haven't paid attention to this your tomato actually is is some it's a first of all it's a fruit not a vegetable we say vegetables but your tomato is a fruit your red pepper is a fruit your cucumber is a fruit anything that has seeds in it is a fruit your carrot is a vegetable but your tomato your cucumber your red pepper are fruits yes 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 if you did not know that they are fruits okay so when you cut your tomato open you actually it's just like the heart it looks it's like when you cut it open it have the four different houses <laughs> and it has like it's connected you know the veins pumping the, the blood throughout the body you know that's the little seeds that connected and it's connected to the oh it's shaped just like the heart almost so of course tomatoes are good for your heart yes 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 agvania let's see a few facts that i may have right, written down about tomatoes so tomatoes are good for the heart high in vitamin c also high in potassium and folate and vitamin k so many other things this is just a few facts again agvania agvania this tomato now for our cucumber melafephon melafephon is a cucumber now cucumbers first of all i absolutely love cucumbers okay <laughs> they go with everything to me i have to have some cucumbers a salad on the side of every dish just about that i eat but cucumbers have a lot of water in them so a lot of people especially if they're trying to lose a few extra pounds they always keep some cucumbers on them okay because they have a lot of water in them so the calorie con content is really low in cucumbers and cucumbers are also so good for your skin even if you go to different salons and stuff and they slice up cucumbers and put them on your eyes and everything cucumbers are extremely good for the skin they're good for the bone the skin they're good for inflammation and to help keep you hydrated if you notice they even make the enzyme water or different things they slice up the cucumbers put a few lemons inside and mint leaves and they make enzyme water and all type of stuff that's separate but cucumbers because of the water content is good for hydration okay so those are just the four that we're going to go over today but i want to make sure that i incorporate you know the hebrew in there for those who are looking for it and keep asking me about it i've been trying to figure out how to add it to the cooking show and remember to at least give one vegetable one fruit one grain 
you know, in Hebrew on while I'm filming, but it'd be sometimes it'd be so just like so much you forget to put it in there. And then I was like, okay, I'm gonna add it to the end of the show. And then I'm like, okay, stop. Just you have time right now. Just make it a part because I got another message today. Oh, so how do you say this? That you need to just add that to the show. I like, okay, just stop my skilla and go in the kitchen and get you a tomato, a cucumber, a carrot, a pepper, and start again. Just start. Don't everything ain't got to be so complicated and you got to plan for weeks and months and years to start something like that. Just. You got peppers in the refrigerator, you got carrots, you got tomatoes, you got cucumbers. Go get them. Turn your camera on and go. Remember, this is about just starting. This is about getting up and starting to make things happen and stop always making everything more complicated than they have to be. So I'm going to make sure that I put more of um, that into um, the videos as I go on and start remembering. Okay, as I'm talking, okay, y'all, we have our gazelle right here. We about to put it. Oh, sorry. We <laughs> we have our milafe phone. This is the gazelle. We have our milafe phone right here. We're about to put in the salad. Okay, milafe phone, everybody. So next time you'll remember, and then every time you'll get another word. So. Until I do that, <laughs> make sure that I don't keep you all waiting. So I hope you enjoy. Pilpel, keep this on you. The red one is the right one, okay? And it is the one that's full of vitamin C. Full of vitamin C. Like I said, 169% of your daily intake that you need in vitamin C is right inside of one bell pepper yes 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 and they are so good too and they're sweet actually bell peppers when you dry them that's what they call paprika sweet paprika <laughs> okay so i hope you enjoyed that please please give me feedback on how you think i can incorporate the hebrew into the show or should i keep it separate or what is, what is it exactly that, you know, um, may help you and how I can help you um, with your Hebrew as far as vegetables and fruits and cooking? Because I'm going to bring grains and nuts and beans. You know, I want to make sure that I'm giving people what they want. And yes, I am bilingual and everyone keeps saying, make sure you add that. Make sure you add that. So... I'm trying to give my viewers what they want and what they're asking for and still keep it exciting and live and all of that. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that um, you enjoyed it. Like I said, this is just the first time if you see a way that, you know, I can incorporate it um, where you will enjoy it better than doing it like this, please leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know how um, you like it or how you feel that it will best help you. So thank you so much for coming back. Please, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, help a sister out. I'm trying to grow this channel. I'm trying to bring you all of the good content and Keep it going. So help a sister out. Hit subscribe. Hit the bell. And share. Comment below. Thank you so much again for watching. Peace and blessings, everybody. Bye-bye.